What's up guys, my name is Luke from Archer Woods, Style Consultancy and Prio Menswear Store. It's time for the fits of the week and we've got some interesting looks to go through. We've got the returning Matt Horanic, we've got David Beckham, we've got Leon Bridges. It's some interesting look, Timothy Chalamet is in there as well, some high profile names. Before we do get into it though, I'd like to ask you a huge favour if you like the video or if you get anything from it at all, if you could hit the like and subscribe button. It helps me to grow the channel and just reach new audiences. Also, if you're interested in Priya menswear, check out our store, archeranwoods.com. So let's get into the fits. First up, it was the Beckham's Netflix premiere this week. So there's been a big furore around them. I believe they were at Victoria Beckham's show out in Paris when we saw this look from David, which was this really lovely double-breasted navy blazer, simple white crew neck t-shirt, some different sort of like wide-legged pants and socks and sandals so i did a shorts video on this and it's divided opinion to say the least firstly i love the trousers i love the blazer i like the look as a whole i'm not a particular big fan of the sandals and socks look i don't think this is a bad application of it at all it's just when you zoom in on them it creeps me out a little bit in the 90s when you're seeing like older men wear that sort of stuff when you're on holiday you see a european tourist wear it it just puts you off for life. So I can't really get into the look. It's not something I would particularly wear. I don't mind a sandal, it's just with the socks, especially with the brown and the sort of like off-white socks as well. Just doesn't do, just makes me feel a bit weird. But as a whole, I like the look. I actually like the colors. I like the, if you take the socks and sandals away, I like the brown, navy, and the sort of white, off-white color. But yeah, just not for me. But the real star of the show of this photo is Cruz Beckham, who I think is 18. He's wearing this double denim look, this Canadian tuxedo, sort of 70s style, perfectly fitted for him. Really nice 70s style collar to it. Vest underneath, some necklaces. And I think it's just for a guy of his age, it's a really cool casual look. He, he's blessed with good looks himself. He's about six foot plus modelish. I think he does model and he, yeah, I think it's just a really cool look. Next up we've got Matt Horanic, and uh, not the first time we've had him on and certainly won't be the last. I just love the way he plays with tailoring and casual wear and it mixes the two together. His whole aesthetic's great. And uh, for this particular look, he's got a tux on and a shirt by Jay Muser. I actually did a post on Instagram about this and I thought from the image, I thought it was like a proper denim shirt with like popper buttons, but he actually corrected me. So the shirt is a pleated tux shirt in chambray by Jay Muser and the bow tie is by Le Beau they're bow ties by La Boutique Bow Ties on Instagram. So if you're interested in that, you can check out my Instagram for that post. He's commented on there with the tags. Just really love the balance of that evening wear formal black tie event with chambray. I think it's done so well. The tone of this is really done nicely. That bow tie is a beautiful size, like a really good chunky size and proportionally everything's excellent. Big fan of this and I'm interested in so what you guys think because I know this could be divisive. It certainly was on the Instagram video. Shout out to Jamie who's the photographer, JFK underscore man on Instagram. If you're not following him and you're into menswear, you'll absolutely love his work for like fat menswear, fashion, street style, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, definitely give him a follow. So the next look we've got is Leon Bridges. So I'm a little bit behind this, but I was listening to a Throne Fits podcast they did. It was actually a few weeks back, but I just got around to it and I just absolutely love the shirt he's wearing. So it's by 316. First of all, the podcast, so if it's menswear podcast, it is, it's really funny. It's a great podcast, definitely up there with one of my favorites. So he's wearing this 316 shirt, this sort of double pocket, pocketed shirt, this really lovely collar to it. Very cool. And the 316 are a brand that I'm a big fan of. I've got a shirt there, so I love it. Like the materials are so good. He was also wearing along with it, some sort of like wide day trousers and some really interesting boots, which I think he goes into in the podcast. He said that they were like made for him. The glasses are pretty cool as well. Actually, on a theme of throwing fits, so they do a lot of reposting of fit pics, and this one caught my eye. So this is one they reposted. So this is Joseph F. Hayes on Instagram. Love this look all together. This sort of flare trousers, high-waisted, uh, off-white blazer, and it's like really silky looking shape. He's obviously got a very interesting look to him. He's got some like chest hats, got great hair, and I think he's wearing loafers. Uh, yeah, some like horse bit loafers as well. Like, very cool look. Done in his own sort of style. Love the flare, added addition of the flare trousers and like the flurriness of that shirt. It really suits his aesthetic. So yeah, big fan of that. And he's in Venice. So dressed like this in Venice, what better way to do it? The next look is from the Berg and Berg lookbook and it's all about the coat. As we're getting into the colder months, I'm starting to look more and more into possibly purchasing another coat. I really want like a raglan sleeve one and this one from Berg and Berg is ideal. So I, I think I featured this line in my Fall Essentials video, which was the last video to this. So I'll put a link uh, in there. But yeah, love this one in particular, this brown color, really interesting texture to it. 
I like the way they dress it up, just very simply with a cream crew neck, some straight mid-wash jeans, brown suede loafers, and like a little red beanie. Just really pleasing sort of colors. Great, lovely for this sort of like autumn time sort of vibe. And uh, yeah, just a great looking coat and becoming a bit of a grail of mine. So next up we've got his double breasted suit, which was posted by Mr. Dot B Thompson on Instagram. He works for Suit Supply and I just really love this suit. It looks so loose, comfortable. It's got a bit of structure to the shoulder, but still looks quite flowy and elegant. It's got a relatively mid-weight material to it as well. So ideal for this sort of like transitional months. I just really like the suit in general. It's like this gray texture, pinstripes. Just a big fan and I really like those glasses as well. Okay, so this is an interesting one. This is the image that made me buy something new for the first time in I don't even know when. So Natalino have a sale on at the moment and I saw this shirt, this seersucker, like the indigo-y blue shirt. And I, yeah, I just, I had to pull the tree, but I really wanted something in that sort of shade. I haven't been able to find one uh, pre-owned for ages, as long as I've been looking. So I pulled the trigger on it. It's about 70 quid all in. And I'm gonna do like an unboxing and review of it as well. That was another reason why I wanted to do it, to do a proper review of Natalino for the video. Love the mix of the blazer with this and the sort of like charcoal high racer trousers. I think the whole thing works really well together. But that deep that that color, that blue, is I find so interesting and makes the whole fit. So yeah, big fan of that and can't wait to show it off and hopefully give a good review. So lastly, and I'd like to add a little talking point for to the video, and this is Timothy Chalamet in this all brown tonal look but with some sort of like shiny trousers leather blazer silky shirt and some chelsea boots like i really, really like this so any of you are familiar with him and his suits he goes for really garish colors sometimes like bright pink silvers and things like that and i think just adding brown just makes the whole difference it just changes things i know he that not everyone's going to dress like this i wouldn't wear this particularly myself but he's timothy chalamet he's a big movie star he's got to stand out from the crowd a little bit he's also super young as well when he's experimenting with the, with his clothes and enjoying it if you wear also with brown i think this is really a good example where if you wear all brown in the same sort of texture it can really look heavy and it looks a bit odd i tried it the other day and i just looked off and i had to change the shoes from brown to black i think it was and yeah i think changing the textures of the brows so you've got this leather with the shine to it you've got everything's got a shine to it just in different sort of ways so you change all the texture it can just it can balance the whole thing out quite well if you are in that sort of space where you've looked at an outfit you're about to go out with and you feel something's off and if brown is a particular color that does that maybe if you have something with a different texture it could work a little bit better it's it's hard because i know not everyone's going to wear a leather blazer or like a silk shirt but uh, the boots being a bit having a bit of a shine to them rather than like a suede texture to them could work um and I, I, overall i just really think this is a cool look and uh interesting not again not one i would wear or particularly dress someone up in anyone that's not him but overall i think things good look and i want to know your thoughts on it so drop a comment below anyway guys those are the fits of the week let me know what you think uh, which one was your favorite one in the comments below do check out archimers.com for pre and wear and also if you're interested in style consultancy as well i offer anything from online one-on-one -on -one sessions to a full personal shopping personal styling service so yeah check out archerandwoods.com for that thank you very much for watching guys drop a like and a follow on the way out and i look forward to hearing from you soon cheers